Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holm, of here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, QuakePrediction.com. It's 5.48 in the evening on Thursday, August 8th, 2024, 5.49 in the evening on Thursday, August 8th, 2024. And we have a, a warning for Southern California. Let's take a look at uh, what's happened here, first of all. <clears throat> and you can see we've had 429 earthquakes in that area where the strong 5.2 originally posted as a 5.7 and then changed to 5.2 by the humans. The computers, of course, were made by humans too, but the computers analyzed it as a 5.7 and changed to a 5.2. <clears throat> and we were forecasting uh, a strong earthquake to hit San Bernardino County. And... Uh, this hit in the county right next to San Bernardino County. Uh, we're forecasting Southern California in San Bernardino. Well, it hit Southern California. It didn't hit, uh, well, it was felt in San Bernardino County, but it was uh, the epicenter was here in uh, Kern County, which is right next door to San Bernardino County. So the forecast we made was very accurate, uh, very close to uh, what we had said for a strong earthquake on August 6th, and that's exactly what happened. Strong earthquake felt across all of uh, Southern California. And that's it's not over. Uh, here is the situation now for the 9th through the 11th. This is, a, I'm going to give you a, a few different forecast models. This is the 9th to the 11th of August, starting tomorrow through the 11th. And it shows a uh, area of very high risk here in Kern County, in the same exact spot around Lamont, uh, south of uh, Baker, southwest of Bakersfield. And that's the most likely spot for it to happen is northwest of Los Angeles, uh, along the San Andreas Fault there, and uh, south of Bakersfield. We're expecting a 6.1 to 6.5. However, um, let's take a quick look at the, well, this forecast model here has the risk way down in southeastern California. And you can see that in this picture here, the 8th to the 9th. Move this over a little bit, 8th to the 9th. And the 9th to the 10th, it's down here in southeast California. But this uh, more accurate forecast model here shows uh, the very high risk from San Bernardino to uh, Riverside to Imperial and San Diego counties. Those four counties are the highest risk area. Again, according to this forecast model right here, the, the, the quake should hit over in Kern County. But it's very high risk across all of Southern California. Most likely to hit down over here in Kern County, but... This forecast model says uh, the San Bernardino, Riverside, Imperial, and San Diego County is the most likely spot for this 6.1 to 6.5 to hit in Southern California. And I'll show you a graph here in a second. This is the, the 11th to the 12th. You can see still see the 11th to the 12th, 85% uh, risk there, right there in San Bernardino County where the 4.9 hit on the 29th. And still very high risk across all of the the same counties in this forecast on the 10th to the 11th. And then risk begins to build up here in Eureka, Crescent City, uh, Petrolia, down to Ukiah in Northwest California on the 11th to 12th, and still very high risk in, the, in that same area down where we'll be getting some aftershocks down in Southern California. Here's the risk graph. You can see the risk peaked there um, around 9 p.m., on this, actually, this graph peaked at about 7 p.m. The quake was at 9 p.m., but very close to the actual data was showing 7 p.m. on August 6th, and it hit at 9 p.m. on August 6th, 5.2, originally posted by the computers at as a 5.7. Here you can see it's building, and by tomorrow night, there's a possibility, and this is the percentage risk here, and this is the size of the quake down here. It looks like about a 4.9 is possible in that area down there in Southern California by tomorrow evening. And then by the 10th, August 10th, which is Saturday, 
we're looking for a strong earthquake uh, anytime during the day, but most likely in the evening of August 10th, where this peaks out at 100% on the risk graph here and peaks out at about a 6.2 on this graph down here, where this one was a 5.2 on this one. So uh, looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California. This forecast model says in the same area near Lamont, near uh, south of Bakersfield, northwest of Los Angeles. And this other forecast model is saying San Bernardino, Riverside, Imperial, and San Diego counties. But either in either case, Southern California is due for a strong earthquake late tomorrow, the 9th into the 10th. Uh, the risk extends through the 11th, but this quake should, the big quake should hit on the evening of the 10th, Saturday evening. Um, we could get a strong earthquake on the evening of the 9th. As you can see by this uh, risk graph here, there's one peak here on the evening of the 9th and then a much larger peak on the evening of the 10th. So please warn your friends and family to be prepared. I mean, it could be... The data is saying about 6.2, but it could be as large as a 7.0 earthquake. Um, you know, these earthquakes kind of have a mind of their own. So look for a strong earthquake, um, most likely about a 6.2 in Southern California on August 10th. And please warn your friends and family. Japan got a 6.9 earthquake down here near uh, Miyazaki uh, offshore. We had... We had mentioned in our last forecast, if you listen to the last forecast, that a 5.5 is possible here in this area. Strong earthquake is possible offshore. It did hit up, hit offshore, but it hit offshore much closer to Japan. So when you when you see on our forecast, when there's a very high risk, and we'll be giving a, making a graph uh, for Japan here shortly as well, so you can see exactly what time to expect a big earthquake. But it doesn't always hit exactly where you want it to hit or think it's going to hit. Um, it was supposed to hit offshore here, but it hit right here near Miyazaki. It was a 6.9. So as you can see here, the risk on the 10th and the 11th looks like it's right there near Shizuoka. Also very high risk down in uh, Kumamoto, Miyazaki, and that area, Oita, down in southern and western Japan. Uh, very high risk near Osaka through Shizuoka area, and again, very high risk offshore. So uh, be prepared for moderate size. Well, with this kind of risk out here, you still be prepared for a strong earthquake, uh, most likely offshore here on the 10th to the 11th. 11th to the 12th, the risk builds in toward uh, west of Tokyo here and near Shizuoka, 85% risk there for a moderate size earthquake. Um, very high risk offshore here. And then on the 12th to the 13th, right there in Tokyo, you could get a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake on the 12th into the 13th. In Alaska, the risk is right now on the 7th to the 8th, right? Uh, moderate size risk, moderate amount of risk in uh, Anchorage to Fairbanks area. And you can see in North, in their uh, Kotzebue, I believe, is up there. Uh, the risk is at 90% on the 8th to the 9th. 9th to the 10th near Kotzebu as well in Northwest Alaska. Very high risk, 95% risk, and a 5.0 is possible up near Kotzebu in Northwest Alaska on the 9th to the 10th. And then we see on both of these, these here, there's 95% risk is their midpoint between Fairbanks and, and Anchorage. So something strong, um, 5.0 or larger is possible in the area between Anchorage and Fairbanks on the 10th to the 12th of August, right there. Could be an Anchorage. It's a very high risk here uh, near Anchorage, but the highest risk is right there between Fairbanks and Alaska. And right there, very high risk in the area around Anchorage. So expect a strong earthquake in the Anchorage to Fairbanks area between August 11th and 12th. And once again, please be prepared for a strong earthquake. Coming up on uh, Saturday, August 10th, this forecast model works extremely well. This is based on uh, around tw 20 years of research here at quakeprediction.com. We have uh, 275,000. Well, that's been going up steadily. It's 
probably close to 276,000 now followers on social media. And uh, we're here to keep expanding. Um, we'll be expanding to Italy and Greece, Chile, Turkey, all the different countries that have earthquakes in the very near future. So stay tuned. Watch for a strong earthquake there in Southern California on August 9th into the 10th. Be prepared for that. And uh, thanks for following and um, thanks for helping us here at QuakePrediction.com for your support. Please keep watching our videos over on YouTube as well. We have uh, QuakePrediction.com, the website, QuakePrediction.com, and we have the YouTube channel, and we have a Facebook and Twitter page as well. Not Twitter. I guess it's not Twitter anymore. <laughs> it's, it's an X.com page. Uh, it's hard to stop saying that. All right. Well, have a great evening, and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, we'll talk to you after this strong earthquake hits uh, California and Southern California. Please warn your friends and family. It's uh, important to spread the news. Thank you so much. And uh, again, this is Luke Thomas, Homequist, QuakePrediction.com.